Welcome my peeps, my peoples. Peep squad is in the building, baby. We're going to the top, to the top, to the top, baby. So please become a part of notification squad. Peep squad, hit that notification bell, baby. Know each and every time I drop a video and tell me what's on your mind. So let's get into it. Let's talk about Nene, Lise, Candy Burris, and Cynthia Bailey. Portia Williams is doing a damn thing. She's becoming a great advocate too as well for the movement. But also, let's talk about Eva Marcel and Candy Burris and Kenya Moore. They are chilling, having a good time. You know, Miss, you know, Eva Marcel is taking co a covert 19 test to make sure she's around the Real Housewives of Atlanta ladies as they film too as well. And Candy is hoping that she would do up some cameos and get some cheddar and get some money. It seems like Eva Marcel dropped the ball way too soon, baby, because she's still in the same predicament. But I guess, you know, she can choose who she films with if she's actually not a part of the cast main cast members so she can just chill you know with Cynthia Bailey Candy Burris you know and also Kenya Moore it is what it is baby but also in the same token we got Nene Leaks leaving like scripted videos scripted you know text messages we don't know what's going on you know tweets and things like that so Nene Leaks dropped a video to let everybody know that she's okay she doing good baby and she let us know when she's ready to speak and tell us her truth whenever she gets ready if she decides to or not because right now she's doing her thing and she's weighing out her options she's just not gonna jump you know fit head in you know she's gonna take her time but in the meantime in between time there's allegedly you know Latoya forever is supposed to be a cast member of the Real Housewives of Atlanta and she is out here holding her mule for a little bit because she got some tea on Nene and she can't wait to use it you know especially to benefit her to you know, basically be a part of the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise because you got to come after the Queen Bee. You got to come after the head. You got to come after the OG, and that's what she's doing. And somebody told her, this is how you play the game, baby. You're going to either get your peach or you're going to be a friend of the show, and from there you go on. You're going to build your brand because these ladies on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you know, show has built plenty of brands and plenty of business, too, as well. And they also branch off of work with different other networks, including, you know, Nene Leaks is working for three different networks right now and got three different shows going on. And also, Candy Burris is doing a damn thing. And Sha, she's doing a damn thing all over the place. The Mass Singer, Big Brother. You know, she's doing a celebrity call center, which Nene will be on there too. So it is what it is. But it seems like Latoya forever basically is trying to solidify her her part to be on a Real Housewives of Atlanta. And she's coming for the OG. She posted to Instagram to basically tell us some ish about Nene that she's been keeping it in. And I guess it's a good time to try to expose and make somebody look bad too as well. So people can big you up. Especially the people that don't feel Nene leaks. And also you will have a storyline coming at Nene leaks. Leaks, you know, so the newbies in the building trying to do what she got to do to get what she want, baby. So Latoya forever says, Nina, you lack empathy for a black woman. As a result of your diva behavior, my aunt lost her contract in Toronto because of your comments towards black women, leaving a black woman job in jeopardy. I was like, oh, Lord have mercy. She's getting deep. She's making sure she say black woman jeopardy. Oh, Lord. And she also says... Remember when you appeared on the shopping channel? So her aunt got some beef with Nene and she knew about it, but she didn't address it until it was beneficial. I guess that's how you play the game. You keep your info, your secrets in the trunk, and then you release it when you need it, baby. So Nene Leaks respond to the situation and she was like, look, my my um Canadian peeps from the channel is speaking out so check it out i was like oh so you know basically the people that was at that station or that channel over there at the shopping channel you know they're actually telling the they're actually speaking their truth and, and addressing you know latoya forever she said this is incorrect latoya your aunt lost her contract because she came in on a date she wasn't scheduled as a guest and waiting outside of nini's dressing room for most of the day mm essentially stalking her oh 
Your aunt is a stalker, Latoya, forever. Then she came and borrowed clothes from the collection to wear and take pictures with Nini. Ooh, she done stalked Nini, waited outside the door. She came to the studio a day that she wasn't supposed to be there. And then she gonna stand outside of Nini Leak's dressing room. Ooh, what was security, baby? Then she gonna go around down the hall and borrow some clothes and then take pictures because she's flossing and finessing at the same goddamn time. And so I was like, mm, 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 mm. And to finish it off, she said she wasn't authorized to borrow any clothes or wear anything or even be on set. So why was you there? And Latoya, forever, you got it wrong. Go talk to your auntie because your auntie's out here lying to your sis. Lying to your sis. I was like, oh, Lord have mercy. What's really going on? Then we got Nene Leak. She said we are powerful in numbers. And she's, you know, throwing some messages out there. She was like, have you ever worked with a sociopath who used you for their personal gain to achieve what they want for themselves i was like who's she talking about she's talking about andy she's talking about andy right or she's talking about candy i think she's talking about andy i don't think she's talking about candy kenya or any of the girls i think she is talking about andy but she also did address that the girls do use her for a storyline allegedly and they also you know made her the topic of the reunion last season for season 12 even when she wasn't really on the show so that's what she said baby so so I think she's talking about Andy because I know somebody that worked with Andy, you know, behind the scenes, you know, doing numbers and crunching and things like that. And she calls him a sociopath. So I'm thinking it's Andy. You guys tell me who you think she talking about. And she also goes, you see there's something wrong. You know something is wrong, but you do nothing to stop it. Why? Do you lack empathy? Ooh. And she was like, you see shit is wrong. And do you lack empathy? Who is she calling out? She's calling out somebody, baby. I was like, Lord have mercy. Nene Leakes is feeling a certain type of way. For real, for real. I was like, okay, tell us how you feel, baby. Tell us how you feel. Mm, mm, mm. And then we got Latoya Forever. We know she did an interview, you know, with with Candy Burris or whatever the case may be. So this is the situation. This is what's going on. So we see Latoya Forever is trying to get in there, baby. The there. And here's Candy. Um, and Eva, she's she's not in the cast, but she just recently got her own test. So yeah, we all tested. <laughs> well, it almost would be natural for Eva to pop up because she, that's why when I thought of it, I was like, well, you guys are all together. Did she pop up tonight? I mean, are you hoping she pops in at some point maybe? I would love her to, but obviously that's up to her. Yeah, you know yeah. I would love her to. I, I mean, I don't you know, know if she would want to or not, but for sure I would love her to. So I'm seeing in my comments, is Sheree coming back and what's going on with Nini? Those are the top two questions, fill us in. Honestly, I don't know and I don't know. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. As it is now, I haven't talked to Sheree in a little while, but that's my girl. I love her very much. And I mean, if she was to come back, I mean, I mean, I think it would be fun. It would be cool. Um, as far as Nene, I have not talked to Nene either, and I do not know what her plans are. Um, so I don't know. I mean, and honestly, uh, we're so early in taping. I wouldn't know who's coming back, who's not. You know what I'm saying? I know that. You know, they have thought about new people, but, um, you know, bringing some new people on. But I don't know who those people are yet. It's too early for me to know because, and, you know, in the beginning, you know, you kind of, you know, take some of your own personal stuff that you're dealing with. And then all of a sudden, you know, other things happen because you start having the group scenes. And that's when you start meeting the other people who are all going to be a part. So I don't know who all is going to be a part. So you guys are just as in the dark as we are. Basically. <laughs> well, and check out the ladies. They are chilling. Cynthia Bailey, Eva Marcel, and, you know, Ken, Kenya Moore. They are having a good time. And also Candy Burris. And they've been chilling, having a good time for a minute. Hanging out, going to Eva Marcel's house to eat. They've been doing the damn thing. And basically, they call themselves the final four, the Fantastic Four. So we're going to see what's going to happen with this situation. What is going down? And Nene Leakes has some things to say too as well. She let us know that somebody came to check up on her. Was it Nick Cannon that checked up on Nene Leakes? Was it Tyler Perry that checked up on Nene Leakes? Who checked up on Nene Leakes when she was going through her thing, baby? I was like, what is good with this situation? 
I was like, what's good with this situation? Nene, tell us what's going on. So, I was just going to get on here and just talk about regular things because I have so many people asking me to like do a video or talk or say something. And I've had plenty of people ask me, am I okay? I actually got a text from, this is crazy. Today I got a text from somebody in the industry, um, a very big person. <laughs> I don't know how they got my number, but they, they text me and said they wanted to know if I was okay. And, um, and that they love me and um, they love uh, Greg. Um, I will continue to sit here and not say anything at the moment. I'm, I'm, you already know I'm gonna say if, if and when I need to, I will. But um, so Greg and I are fine. Greg is fine. I am fine. Um, I had somebody else to ask me, "Are you okay? Are you really, really okay?" And uh, and I, I and so many people are asking me that, and I'm thinking that they're probably asking me that because I had posted about people being strong. Um, on the outside, so and I said something like, uh, "I said check on your strong friends." So uh, I, a lot of people were texting me like, "Are you okay? Okay, I want to make sure that you're really okay." And I want to say that I'm okay. I am okay, and I want to say thank you for everybody that's DMing me and calling me and emailing me, asking me, "Am I okay?" And I think uh, I take it as they are asking me, "Am I mentally okay?" Uh, because because of me saying check on your strong friends, which is very true. You you should check on your strong friends. Um, but I am okay. I am okay. Um, I'm okay. Uh, that's where I'll leave it right there. I'm okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. I am. Um, for for those of you, peace who, and love. You know, like I the video.